In this video, we will explore how to use and update dynamic resources. When working with resources in your Xamarin Form XAML, there may be cases when you want to update the resource values after the application has started. There may be times you don't have resource values ready when your UI is being created. For example, you might store user preferences on a web server and load them at application startup. Static resource will not work for this case. If the key is not in the dictionary, a runtime exception will be thrown. You might want to change the resource values while your app is running. For example, you might want to use resource values to make user preferences available to your UI. The user may select a different color scheme for the application. Properties assigned using static resource will not be updated if you update the values in the resource dictionary. So what are you to do when you want the values to change at runtime? Resource values can be updated in code, which is useful when downloading new values or when you want to let the user make changes to the UI. The resource dictionary is available through a resource property of your content page. Your code behind can add, remove, update values as required. These are just standard dictionary operations. So the next question then is how do we reflect changes in the resource dictionary? And the answer to that is to use the dynamic resource markup extension. The dynamic resource markup extension retrieves a resource when the target object is created, just like static resource, and it also updates the value changes. Dynamic resource does two things. It loads the resource value initially when the target is created, and then it listens for changes on the dictionary and updates the UI property value as needed. Dynamic resource has another big advantage over static resource. If you try loading a resource using a key that isn't present in the resource dictionary using dynamic resource, it leaves the property unset. It is not an error and no exception is generated. Dynamic resource is designed to handle the case where the resource value is not available at startup. So far we've set resources in XAML and this is the most common practice. However, resources can be set in code using the set dynamic resource method. This allows logic to apply different resources based on runtime knowledge. This method is available in the view base class and is actually defined on the base bindable object class, which means it's available for all of our UI views. It will load the current value of the specified resource, assign it to the specified property, and then watches for change events so it can update the UI. This is the same behavior as using the dynamic resource markup extension in XAML. Here we have a little app which demonstrates the use of dynamic resource. As you can see, as the app is running, we are able to do things like update the entire color scheme at runtime. 